Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Daniil and this is What's for Dinner. For dinner tonight we decided to do some barbecue chicken grilled cheeses. I had some extra barbecue chicken from the previous night's dinner. If you watch my first What's for Dinner video, I explain the recipe and how to make it. I will also link the recipe in my description box. I just went ahead and diced up some red onions and I'm going to saute them until they're soft. And then I'm just adding my barbecue chicken to the skillet and warming it through. And then I'm going to go ahead and add some smoked paprika. One thing that I really love about leftovers is this dish literally takes five minutes to make, so it's perfect for you when you have a busy day. Once my chicken was done cooking, I went ahead and removed it from the stove. And to a heated skillet, I added some butter and some garlic. And then I'm just going to add my bread. I'm going to add my meat mixture and I'm going to add some Swiss cheese. And then you're just going to cook that up as a regular grilled cheese. And then I just went and paired it with the side salad. And just like that guys, dinner's done. Five minutes easy. And for this night's dinner we are going to do garlic pork tenderloins. And I'm just going to take my pork tenderloins and I'm going to add some Laurie's garlic salt to both sides. And then to my skillet over medium heat I'm going to add my pork loins. I'm going to cook the first side for two minutes. After the two minutes, I'm just going to go ahead and flip them over. And then I'm just going to cook an extra two minutes, three minutes depending on the side. And for my side dish, I'm going to do garlic bacon parmesan brussels sprouts. Let me tell you, I can talk for about an hour on how great these are. These are by far my favorite side dish to make. I'm actually going to upload a video on how to make these. Make sure you guys definitely check this one out. And for my final side, I'm just going to deep fry up some french fries and dinner should be done. And for this night's dinner, we're going to do steak quesadillas. Into a pan over medium heat, I'm going to add some olive oil. And I'm just going to add my steaks and cook those up. And I'm just adding some salt, pepper, garlic powder, anti-nono seasoning, and some smoked paprika. And when they're done cooking about medium, medium well, I transfer them to some foil and I let them rest. They usually continue cooking in their own juices. And I had some leftover bell peppers from when we did fajitas the other night. I went ahead and chopped those up and I'm also going to throw in a red onion. And now that my meat's fully cooked, I'm going to go ahead and dice that up. Then I went ahead and put some butter in a pan and I'm going to saute up my vegetables. Once my vegetables were done, I went ahead and removed them from the skillet. Now I'm going to add some butter. I'm going to place down the tortillas. I'm going to add a nice handful of cheese. Then our sautéed vegetable mixture. And then a nice handful of meat. I'm going to top it off with some more cheese. I'm going to let them continue cooking for a few more minutes, let them get nice and brown on the side, and then I'm going to go ahead and close them. And once they're finished cooking, I'm going to go ahead and flip them, let them brown up nice on the other side. Alright, and once they're done, I'm just going to go ahead and chop them into little triangles. And look at that, nice and cheesy, meaty. And that's everything to it. Dinner's done, guys. And for this night's dinner, we are going to do some nachos. And I'm just going to brown up one pound of ground beef in a skillet over medium-high heat. And once it's done cooking, I'm going to use a paper towel to remove the excess oil. And for the nachos tonight, I'm just going to use some flour tortillas. We like making our own chips versus the store-bought. I'm just going to cut up the tortillas and throw them in a deep fry. And once they're golden brown, I'm going to remove them and place them on a paper towel to remove the excess oil. On our nachos tonight, I'm going to use some salsa con queso, some refried beans, olives, sour cream, cherry tomatoes, and a green onion. And I'm just putting the refried beans and the queso in a bowl and heating that up. And I'm just going to layer our nachos. And dinner's done.